So the timeline in Blender is very intuitive. All you have to do is press Alt-A and it will start playing the animation along the timeline. Now I don't have any animation here, but if I did, it would certainly be playing. Let's go ahead and create something real quick with automatic keyframes just to show you exactly how this works. And you can click and drag across the timeline to actually move your cursor in time. There we go. So I can actually hit Alt-A and play that back at full speed and that is of course an animation and you can actually change the end time for your timeline right now default is 250 let's go ahead and bring it down to 80 there we go and this of course represents your current frame so you can drag that here or you can simply drag this here or you can hold alt and scroll and that's also very helpful a couple other hotkeys are shift left to bring you to the beginning or shift right to bring you to the end now one thing about timelines that's very important and very helpful is markers Markers are something that you can add simply by keeping your mouse hovered over the timeline and hitting the M key for marker, and that will create a marker on the current frame. This is named after the current frame. What if I want to rename it? Well, you can hit Control M and rename it to Explosion, because I want to make an explosion, right? Let's say I want to mark where I want the explosion to happen. You can also go here, by the way, and rename marker under this menu. Now, let's say we have that explosion. We can actually move this marker around just like you would in any other viewport, just hit G and move it around and left click to confirm, right click to cancel. And once you have this marker, you can actually bind it to a camera. What does that mean? Well, you can actually switch cameras in the same scene from one camera to another camera if you ever have different shots or something like that. It's very, very helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you real quick and duplicate this camera with Shift D. I'm gonna move it around over here, let's say, yeah, right around here. I'm going to go ahead and make this my active camera real quick, just so I can look through it with Control numpad 0. And I'm going to give it a nice angle here, something like a lower angle maybe, just from underneath where the explosion happens. Right. So with that, I can go ahead and play the animation, but notice the active camera is constant. Now, if we wanted to change between this camera and this camera, we can actually create another marker real quick to start with a different camera. And I'll hit Starting Camera. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and select this camera and make sure this marker is selected, which it is because it's orange. You notice this one is not selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Control B for bind. Now, as you can see, my active camera changed immediately because this camera is now active on this marker. And this marker lasts up until the next marker. So the next marker, nothing happens yet because we haven't bound it yet. So let's go ahead and select that camera. Make sure this explosion marker is selected and then hit control B again. And now it will switch to the other camera the moment the cursor passes the marker. So it is a very, very helpful tool that you can do all in the timeline as well. So that's it for the timeline overview. I hope you guys found this helpful.